Hi guys, it's Ashley and I'm finally back to share a new layout with you this week and I am sharing a layout for Hip Kit Club using the July 2015 Hip Kits and Add-on Kits and I'm also using one of the free cut files that are available in the Hip Kit member, member forum, I'm tongue tied, on Facebook. Um, if you haven't joined there you can head over to Facebook and check out the member forum uh, just for chatting and inspiration and we have lots of um, Freebie Friday cut files that you can get there and so you can see I already cut the file um, from some crepe paper pattern paper in the kit and I layered it over the fancy pants paper that has the multicolored stripes just to add some color behind the ear and I'm going to stitch um, along the pinwheel just to add some texture and also to help adhere that down to the paper and I'm going to stitch down each row of the pinwheel and I'm also going to um, stitch around that circle uh, design on the center of the pinwheel so just two different types of stitching there and I'm just going to do a couple here just to show you how I got those on and just go right down the center and just do a straight line stitch on those and I'm not worried about the center because I'm actually going to add an embellishment there and so now I've got my photo and I'm layering it over one of the project life cards that are included in the project life kit and I'm just going to kind of put that on the right hand side of the layout and I'm just getting that cork embellishment there in the center so I can see where I want to place my photo and I'm going to add some adhesive um, this is the fine liner um, adhesive bottle I finally got one of these um, Missy Whidden and uh, Sherry Twing Auntie Recreates use these and I've been wanting one and looked for it before and couldn't find it so when I saw what Missy was using on her video I said oh I'm going to Amazon right now so I can order one <laughs> and it finally came so I'm enjoying using that and so now I'm going to add the title and I'm going to go around that circle design um, I've been kind of addicted to circle designs lately. I don't know why, but I can't stop myself from doing some kind of circle design on my layouts. And so I just went with it on this one too. And these are the crepe paper thickers that are included in this month's kits. And I am going to do a tone on tone look. Um, I really like that tan look over the kind of wood grain crepe paper. And so I'm going to use that for the outer edge. And you can see I finished um, that around the outer edge. And now I'm going to go back in and add the rest of the title which is life is like a camera focus on what's important and I'm using the October afternoon letter stickers here because I wanted a different typography and also a different color um, that teal picks up the color in the fancy pants paper so I really liked adding those on and I'm not worrying about those extra spaces uh, if you're doing a circle design like this and your title doesn't space out the way you want it to a good tip is just to add some embellishments um, you'll see here in a minute I'm going to add some wood veneers and a flare button so that j just gives you some extra room to go in and add some embellishments to fill in those spaces um, and it just kind of adds in a little bit more fun look um, just having something different there mixed in with the alphas and so I'm just getting that last one on and I'll finish the rest of that up off camera and so now you can see I'm going to add some of those embellishments and this is a camera from the Cray Paper chipboard sheet that's included in the kits. And it says, um, I think it says Summer Splash above the little shutter. And I did not want it to say Summer Splash just because this isn't really a beach or pool photo. Um, so I cut a phrase off of one of the Project Life cards. And I think it says Insta Snap or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it says. Um, I know it says Insta something, but you'll be able to see that. Um, in, the video, in the layout at the end and the close-ups and so I'm just going to add in the wood veneer and the flare button here in that extra space that I mentioned in the title and I just wanted the arrow pointing that way toward the letters and so now I'm going to add these little chipboard chevrons and you'll notice that I'm ripping my chipboard this um, crepe paper chipboard is really thick. I think this is one of the thickest ones for some reason <laughs> that I've ever worked with. Um, and I didn't want those layers pulling apart because sometimes uh, when you try to pull it off the sheet, that um, sticky layer will stick and your chipboard will rip in half. And so I wanted to get that full sticky part on there. And so I'm just adding those um, going around the circle for the title. And these are the um, October afternoon enamel dots that are included in the kit. And I really like these because they have a mix of just the round enamel dots. They have heart shapes and they have star shapes. And you can see multiple colors. And so I'm just varying those and adding them around the cork embellishment, which is from Shamil from the True Stories collection. And I'm just kind of mixing up the shapes and mixing up the colors. 
and I really like these sheets because even though I use a lot, I still have a pretty good bit of these left once I'm finished, and I also use this sheet on two other layouts, so um, these are great to have because you can just use a lot or a little, and they will go a long way on your layouts, and I'm just going to finish that up there with that one. I didn't want to cover the photo completely, so I just stopped right there, and here are some more of the cork embellishments from Shamil, and I wanted to use those little clouds. And since I had kind of the circle design, I used the clouds and the um, ampersand to kind of create a diagonal line there on the layout just to kind of add a little bit more interest. And I'm going to finish up here with some color shine. And I also forgot that I wanted to use the October afternoon phrase stamp that was included in the kits, um, but I forgot to do it when I was on camera. So here at the end on the full layout, you'll see where I stamped around the edges of the pinwheel design. And you'll also see some close-ups, and you can visit the Hip Kit Club website for more information and for subscribing. And thanks for joining me this week, and I hope that you will join me next time. <music>